Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can create a child-fueled sweatshop in order to support your economy. It's Rule Your School. It is school, damn it. So this is the strangest school game in the universe. However, the last time we went into debt and didn't make any money, I'm not okay with that. That's when I found out that one of the most screwed up parts of this game is how when the children make stuff in art class, they don't get to take it home and show their parents you sell it in order to support the school. So that's what we're doing today. I want to see if I can create an entire school that is just one giant child sweatshop where all they do is make artwork so that we can sell it to become rich. Welcome everyone to Sweatshop High LLC. One of my favorite parts about this game is deciding which hopelessly depressed individual will be our headmaster. I'm gonna pick this lady. It was a lot like our first lady, except after, you know, a bunch of liposuction. We're gonna start things off pretty big here, not because the kids need space to like stretch, just because I can pack more students into a big box. I'm gonna have the headmaster area away from the children just because I don't want them to have any direct interaction with me. It's it's part of a professional environment, okay? There's no nepotism here. Everyone's treated poorly equally. Actually, even better, hold on. They can look at me through these jail windows. That's the view they'll have. I'll be look <laughs> the headmistress will be looking back at them with her slant her slit eyes, greedily thinking about all the value that they have as sweatshop participants. <laughs> Some of these posters are a friggin' trip. This one says, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. There it is. With all of our sweatshop money, we'll purchase nukes. It's nice to be clean at school. Is this a picture of a child urinating into a toilet? Who drew this? Make sure you aim properly. <laughs> I gotta put this in the sweatshop room. Give me, give me another one of these. There we go. It's framing the bars of oh, this game. Oh, there's all kinds of new posters they put in here. Why is there an identity theft thing in here? Are we worried about all these kids' checking accounts getting taken over? Actually, it doesn't matter because the kids don't have identities. They're just going to have numbers. Education is the foundation of the future. I don't like this poster. It's too legit. This poster is probably the best one for this school. It starts you off as a student and end you as a worker, not like as an individual or as a parent or as someone valuable. J your only designation is worker. Put that right next to the identity theft. You know, it's first world problems where in order to torture the students, one of the penalties that they get is the no, slow God, router please, instead of no, the fast no. router. I know someone out there is going to look at all the prison bars and stuff like that, but the second they see the router is slow, they're going to be like, Gray, you monster. How come this poster only exists from one side? This is... Oh my god, I just thought about something. This way, I don't have to look at the children, but they have to look at me. Yes, come on in. Feel it. Go, go make yourself at home inside of your new office. There's no one here for you to... to screw around with yet but you what the hell okay i thought she was throwing some gang signs or something for a second there she could just be casting a spell all right so now we need the places where all the money is going to be made okay we have our first potential teacher that we've found from underneath the overpass we have jenny here who is very social a very experienced teacher with a high price tag and then we have Rima who's a bit antisocial with no experience and is cheap as hell. I think we know who's getting the spot. Welcome to the team. The school is very happy. It's happy because all this lady has to do is pretend to teach because she doesn't have any students yet. I'm not a monster, so here's some flowers that the children will never get to see once they're in class. Ah, school is in session. Some people are fat, some are not. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Glad to see that our students are already scumbags. This is Craig, everyone. Craig says Tony is not that bad. Maybe they can be friends. Craig, the one thing that you didn't understand is that you don't have a name, technically. Your name is Worker34632.1. Three, three, underscore exe. Great name! <laughs> Craig, Craig, I'm so glad you think so. Tony, I'm really thinking that you're putting a lot of emphasis on appearances. At least worker34621 whatever thinks the same way I do. Is the teacher even trying? No. Oh, we just made 25 bucks. This is what I'm talking about. We need more students though. Everybody is so smart here. There's literally one other student. I get the highest grades in the class. Again, I don't know if bragging is a good idea when the only other person you're up against is the most 
vapid student. I've, in fact, you know what? You're getting renamed. Fortnite has ninja. You're gonna be ninjane. I don't think my parents would like this. You're never gonna get to see your parents anyway. All right, we got some new potential creatures over here for our teachers. We got Craig, who's hella creative. That's that's the the programmed response telling me how good he is. Who looks the most homeless? Krista. Uh, she looks very prim and proper. And then. This guy do a capoeira, whatever it is. That's Sean T over here doing P90X or Insanity or whatever have you. You know what? You're hired. Worker 34621, whatever, doesn't seem to have any emotions. <laughs> That's because he wasn't programmed to have any emotions. All right, apparently the health of the school is really bad. Let me let me throw a couple of green grocers or whatever the hell they are in here. It's not like any of the kids buy it for, or anything from it anyway. I didn't know you could put these inside of the classroom. There you go. We're now serving bananas, although they look more like orange slices of feces. I don't get a single bad grade. I, let, I bet my dad will let me sleep in the house again. <laughs> <laughs> the dialogue on this game is so twisted. I love it so much. Ah, we have many new minions today, such as Worker 34621's twin brother, Sylvester. Octavio? This guy needs a cool D&D &D name, like Octavio the Ever Living. Although, now I'm curious just how long you are allowed to name the children. Apparently, there's no real limitations. All right, there we go. That's a good name. <laughs> Look at the name. Ninjane has some difficulties at home. Ninjane's parents are quite poor. They don't have the money to buy books for Ninjane. I will buy the books. We need to help every student. Ninjane has to buy the books. I don't think you kids understand. This isn't, we don't spend money on the children. The children spend money on us. The kids are like rabbits. They're slowly multiplying. That's what I like to see. We need more desks. We need to fill this entire room out. I, what the hell? Did that say I smile not for I am happy, but to hide my sadness? Oh my God, you can make vegetable gardens and profit from the vegetables. Children, you will work as long as possible in this garden. I hate this school. <laughs> Good that I'm doing my job. I get out there and start working in the freaking garden. She's working hard. Her entire lower body and her hands have melded into the dirt. How can this school be so bad? <laughs> All right, now we need some students to continue to make incredible scientific discoveries because you sell those for money too. German efficiency. Oh my God, our homeless lady is back in full force. What the hell? Prom. Some parents are worried about drinking alcohol. They think their children are too young for it and they should not drink it. Since when the hell does the school have the right to serve alcohol at a child's function? You know what? They can choose to drink alcohol or not for themselves. Okay, now we're starting to make that cash. That's right, kids. Keep putting those pots together. Schools ban smoking. Oh, when I had my kids make a, make a school newspaper, I didn't think they would actually make a school newspaper. Various schools have banned smoking recently. What is this, like 1820? Since when did these schools allow smoking in them? I don't know, the students can smoke if they want. It's the only thing that'll get them through their day of slavery. This, this doesn't even say what it is because Octavio the ever living has the longest name. So it goes right through the menu and it doesn't say what this text is. It says we try to make school as fun as possible or too much work. I don't even know what these answers are for. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. What the hell happened here? I've worked the students so hard that some of them have melded into the floor and are now just... <laughs> They're just part of the school now. <laughs> what happened here? Where? I am June. June has lost her ability to survive. She now just exists as a permanent feature inside of the school. On a side note, though, we're making a ton of money right now. Gold. After a lot of experiments, one of your chemistry students has made gold from coal. This means we can convert all gold, coal into gold. After using it a few times, you made $14. I feel like this is substantially underrepresented as to how much money this should be worth. All right, the desks are filling up. We need more desks. The pottery desks make much more money. So those are the only ones we're gonna use from now on. Can I put this desk right on the child that is buried inside of the floor? It totally looks like I can. There, no one has to know that you were ever there. You too, I'll put one right here. Brandy, your new name is Human Floor Ornament. I don't like this world. You just 
Maybe if I enable school swimming, they'll be able to swim their asses out of the concrete. You just don't like this world because you tried to swim inside of the linoleum, whatever this is, and you got stuck. I think what we need is a ton more vegetable gardens. The profit's 2800 Hell yes. Yeah, so you can have students work one hour for $180 or four hours for 2,880. It's freaking multiplicative. The doctor told me that if my IQ was five points lower, I'd officially classify as mentally retarded. What does retarded mean? This game just reached a new level. <laughs> There's not much difference between the children in our class. Everybody is unintelligent. What is your name, young lady? Tegan, your new name is Facts of Life. Nobody respects me. That's because you're stuck in the floor. The government heard from various people that you are not a good headmaster. They are going to inspect your school soon. Oh, Jesus. Before the government closes us down, I need to put as many vegetable gardens as humanly possible because we're making like 5k a day. All the vegetable gardens. Okay, I've spent every single dollar on vegetable gardens. The profit margin is 40 grand. Vegetable gardens, son. More vegetable gardens. Oh, if only I would have known in the beginning. Sweet baby Jesus, more vegetable gardens. 89K a day. All right, kids, here's the plan. So that the government doesn't shut us down, what I'm gonna do is as long as y'all make me stacks in this next day here, I'm gonna give you a real class where you can learn real things. Every second I linger in this mortal plane of existence, the essence of my soul grows dimmer. <laughs> That's what happens when you've been stuck in the floor for two months. Oh yeah, give me that money. All right, kids, give me, give me one second here. Let me set you up with some learning. This game has the best dialogue writing of any game I've ever played. On a side note, more vegetable gardens. I'm, I'm actually out of space to put more gardens down. We are making... Oh, 117 grand a day though on them. Sir, I purchased you because you were highly educated. However, you don't appear to be highly educated as you are unable to sit down in your chair and have formed half of your body into the desk. This is interesting. He never goes home. Just like some of the... Jesus. I was gonna say, just like some of the students. Octavio is, oh, he wins everything. Like everything in this school has to do with Octavio the ever living. He just won for best soccer player in the whole school. It's like the game just wants to use him because he has the longest name. Nobody is happy here, you shut your mouth. I'm happy. You know, Great Crash is another game. Well, we did it. We made a school that works its children so hard that it makes like 120K a day and it legitimately broke the entire game. Hey, hope you folks enjoyed this episode of Rule Your School, otherwise known as headmaster.exe. Until the next time, stay foxy a bunch